Hey guys, it's Vera Wild again. I am back with more tips for beginning cross-dressers. I always say it, but this is not a tutorial. I'm not an expert on makeup or any of that, but these are general tips and little bits of advice that I know I would have liked to have had starting out, and hopefully some of you will find them useful. So we have talked about eyes a little bit. We talked about eyeliner already. This time we're going to talk about lashes. Now, um, there's obviously several different approaches to eyelashes. There is mascara, um, which I did start out using, and I don't anymore for a number of reasons, um, some of which I'll get into a little bit later, but mascara um, definitely is quick to apply, but the, sort of the biggest issue with mascara is that it tends to smudge, it tends to, to run, and it can really only do so much for your lashes. The main reason that I do use false lashes is that no matter no matter what mascara you get, what you apply or how you apply it, it will never look as good as false lashes do. And just to kind of prove my point, if you ever read the fine print on the bottom of a mascara ad when they go for the close-up on the eyelashes, you'll actually notice that they say that there are false eyelashes being used in that image. So even in mascara commercials where they talk about how full your lashes get with their mascara, they have to use false eyelashes. That kind of tells you everything you have to know right there. Now, as far as false lashes go, there's one basic thing, more than any of it, that you need to know. They're evil. They're terrible, horrible things. They were created by the devil himself. I have no doubt of that because they are such a pain to put on. And it doesn't really ever get any easier. You get the hang of it, but it's always a huge pain in the ass. But they look so damn good and that's 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 what makes them truly evil they're a nightmare to put on but they they're always worth it um now as far as applying lashes go you will find instructions with most of them and i could i could go through it step by step but the main reason i'm not going to is that more than anything it's practice it is practice 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 as with pretty much everything but these almost more than anything else um, just a couple of general tips. You will want to get um, a la lashes that um, will use lash glue. There's some that claim to already have some on it and are self-adhesive. They don't work very well. They don't stay on very long. And if they do, it's going to be one time only. I mean, these, I, I have reused these so many times. And as long as you are careful when you peel them off and remove them, they can be reused. So you'll, you'll want to get an eyelash glue. Um, and you can get ones that will basically dry clear, uh, which is what I would recommend. And you, when you apply, you want to apply a fairly thin coat um, to the lashes. You want to, you don't want to then apply it immediately because the glue's too wet. You want it to start to set up a little bit so that when you apply it, the lash will stay in place. And you do want to try and get it pretty much as close to the lash line on your upper lid as you can. Now, you can still use mascara in conjunction with false lashes to sort of blend in your natural lash in with the false lash. Now, that's something to use um, when you're using false lashes that are a bit more natural than what I'm using. Sort of taking a look at it, it's got studs on it, goes out kind of far on the side. So I use a, a little bit of an exaggerated lash, but there's some really wild lashes out there. There are ones, you know, with feathers. There's some, you know, the end bit goes out to here. You can really go crazy, or you can go more realistic. There are ones that basically are the same shape as a natural lash. They're simply a little bit longer and a little bit thicker. Those are the sorts of ones that you would want to use mascara to sort of get the blending effect on. But I really do recommend getting the hang of them just because while um, I, there are the more natural ones, but just false lashes, it's really a very feminine addition to a look, much more than mascara by, on its own could ever give because it, it's just one of those things that there's no male equivalent of false lashes. So to sort of bring more emphasis, you know, to ex slightly exaggerated eyelashes, is that much more feminine of a thing to do. So I do recommend it, but just bear in mind, it is going to be frustrating as hell. So just know that going in. It's going to take a while. It is going to take practice, but it is absolutely worth it. So just stick with it, and you will be rewarded with a really wonderful look. And as I said, you can really, really go nuts with these things, and they're just a lot of fun. 
once you actually get them on. Getting them on is never fun. But in any case, that's false lashes, and I hope you found that useful. Until next time.